Questioned. And since that time, I've just completed a, a book on corruption that will come out earlier this year, um, since the foundation of the state. And when I go through the tribunal reports, three tribunals that are often forgotten about in the 1940s, um, or the political tribunals in the 1990s, or the, the, uh, the inquiries into the church, the same words appear. Uh, it's almost predictable now. Things like deference, uh, loyalty. Um, and you also see similar trends that appear over and over again. Uh, outsiders tended to be punished. Uh, people who blew the whistle tended to be punished. And often the people who held up uh, behaviour uh, for, for what it was were people that were not Irish uh, or, or people that came from, uh, from the luxury of, of looking at outside, uh, from outside. So the Beef Tribune, for instance, was brought by uh, um, an ITV program with Susan O'Keefe, uh, the case of the obstetrician in uh, Dundalk was uh, taken by a, a midwife from, from England, um, and even in the case of the Beef Tribunal, it was an accountant uh, who used to work for uh, a beef baron who is now living in uh, Canada. Um, and that's something perhaps we've seen um, being recognised with the appointments of our financial regulator and uh, our central bank governor coming from outside uh, traditional, traditional uh, sources of, of, of uh, recruitment. Um, so in one sense you can say that values have collapsed and that we're in a, in a crisis, um, but this perhaps is a very positive thing because we're assuming that the values that we had of deference and, and loyalty and uh, not critical thinking or independent thinking were actually good values in the first place. Um, so I think that this is actually a real opportunity to, to reassess what we are and to look at um, changing those things that, that seem to be a feature not just in, in, in government but across wider society too. Um, so um, one of those things, one of I mean, there, never before and never again will we get this, uh, as was described, this perfect storm where all these things have come together, where there is this extraordinary public appetite for reform. Uh, I heard someone saying on the ra radio recently that all words beginning with RE should be banned because they've become so repetitive, reform and renew and, uh, and all of that. But, um, and so you see in the main political parties, uh, the Labour Party and Fine Gael both have political reform documents. Micheál Martin, when he became leader, uh, placed emphasis on, on reform. And Andy Kenny here today also focused on, on uh, political reform with the Shannon. But it's wider than that. It's about whistleblowing legislation. It's about lobbying regulation. It's about political funding. It's about incidences of voluntary transparency and not just always waiting for legislation to force politics or force uh, government to bring about legislation and one of those of course is political funding and there's, there's, no, there's, there's nothing stopping any political parties for instance putting up all their accounts online. Um, and perhaps uh, this is also an opportunity as we come to election night and this week I've got phone calls from about 15, 20 different international media outlets from the Wall Street Journal to the Guardian to most of the main newspapers and, and networks I across Europe about organising their trip to, to Ireland. And on election night, it's going to be this, we're going to be a, a central focus of international attention. And maybe this is where we can begin to change that narrative and to use that opportunity um, and to, to perhaps start to restore this reputation. And I know that sometimes in the heat of elections, we, we talk to, to ourselves, but uh, in the environment we now live in, it's uh, um, using that phrase, uh, we're also dependent on the kindness of strangers. And on that night, we will be at the mercy, uh, or not at the mercy, but we have the opportunity to talk to many of those strangers who will be listening uh, and making investment decisions on Ireland. And um, perhaps that when the party leaders or the politicians come to make their statements that night that, that they would have that at the back of their mind that that is an opportunity perhaps to begin to repair the reputation and um, uh, to, to begin to repair a process uh, that began actually 15 years ago and uh, it's, it's, it's not just about politics it's about everything that Ireland is about and um, that's actually quite positive so thank you